Shane, you got a copy back there, mate? Yeah, Graham. How can I help you, mate? And I'm going along looking at split here, eh? Listen, a word in your ear. When it comes to setting up suspension for trips like Fraser, uh, Simpson Desert, uh, the sort of the more sandier sort of terrains that we like to try and conquer, what do you what do you recommend, mate? What's what's the go for you? Well, it all depends on how you have your vehicle set up with your accessories, mate. Okay, so would you suggest to someone that they've just bought a new vehicle, they put the accessories on at first, then look at suspension so they've got their weights right? Mate, that would be preferred because honestly, the the difference in spring rates for a bull bar winch compared to nothing at all. You really don't want the heavy one if you haven't got anything on. Mate, I'm uh, currently in an IFS vehicle and have been for quite some time and I'm a big convert towards them these days. Tell me about suspension setups on an IFS vehicle, clearance wise, etc, etc. Well, when you got the weight on there, that comes into how much clearance you got. So if you've got a light spring, heavy bull bar and winch, you're not going to get the clearance you get if you put the right spring in there for that load. If you don't gain that extra 50 mil clearance from doing a lift, everything underneath is going to act like a boat anchor. I guess at the end of the day, mate, suspension is one of those things that really can make or break a four-wheel drive, eh? Yeah, mate, that's why she'd always talk to someone who's a bit of an expert on the subject. Yeah, I guess that's across the board with a lot of things, but yeah, suspension being one of those things that uh, I've seen a car set up well, I've seen a car set up poorly, and the difference is chalk and cheese.